Hey, how you doing? This is Tony from Six Dream Corner, and that you just heard is Sweet Child of Mine, a great classic rock riff that everyone should know by a band called Guns N' Roses. And if you don't know who Guns N' Roses is, you better start learning. Educate yourself. There are a million videos out there. Well, maybe not a million, but there's a lot of videos out there that will show you in detail how to play that riff as well as the rest of the song. That's not what this video is about. This video is about using that lick as a great exercise and warm up in your routine. It's also one of the 20 classic rock riffs that everyone should know. That actually is a PDF that I constructed for all of you, regardless of whether you're beginner or intermediate. Everything from Smoke on the Water and Iron Man all the way to Licks Like This and Xanadu from Rush and everything in between. Go ahead and click the link and grab your copy of it. It doesn't cost you anything. It's pretty easy. Just a couple clicks and you're in. What I want to point out is watch the fingering of how I'm playing that riff. Too often, and I see this from students that come in here, that the fingering is all off, whether you're doing a chord change or you're playing a lick like this. And oftentimes it's just a really simple technique change that they have to utilize. You'll see how I move the pointer finger around to change the root note of that lick, because really it is the same lick that repeats itself. It's just that the pointer finger is changing the root note. We go from the D to the E, and the G. When I get to the E part of that lick, you'll notice that the fingering changes a little bit. It's just to make it a lot easier. Things get really kind of weird when you have two notes that are on the same fret, but they're on different strings and they're not even near each other. The, this part here is. So I have to make sure that I, I find a finger, the middle finger and the ring finger to make that riff happen. Watch how the fingering is utilized on that lick. It matters a lot in order to make it sound good, to make it feel good, and so that folks out there can enjoy it. Also, you can use this as a warm up or an exercise, playing it in different parts of the guitar. Now, yeah, it'll sound weird, it's in a different key, but it's a lot more fun sometimes to use warm up routines and exercise routines by playing riffs that you like that are fun to play. It can get a little boring, you know, using scales. Although scales are good to know, you just still gotta work on them. This doesn't excuse you from that. By the way, you should know your scales. But a lick such as this can make that practicing routine or that warm routine a lot more fun. Here's just some examples. Take that lick that I used here on the 12th fret, play it on the 5th fret. You'll find that your fingers are a little bit further apart, so you got to kind of utilize those fingers just a little bit different than if you played it the way the song is normally done on the 12th fret. And on the other side of the coin, go all the way up as far as high as you can go on your guitar. Your fingers a little bit closer together, a little more bunched up. You got to be a little more aware of how those fingers, you know, are going to land on those notes. It can be really tough if you're not used to it. And go anywhere in between. Put a metronome to it and then play it faster if you need to. It's okay if you're using it as a lick or a warm up. As long as you're accurate, be accurate as you go faster. And then once you start losing your accuracy, that's where you got to work at it. Try and play it that fast again. Stick to a metronome, keep your timing steady. See how fast you can go with it and use it as, a, as an exercise. You can also use it as a warm up for your gig before you're sitting around just jamming in your room, or jamming with some buddies, whatever. I hope you found this helpful and I hope that this will help you become a better guitar player. Use it as an exercise, use it as a warm up. And also download the link below, 20 essential classic rock riffs that everyone should know. This tab is in there as well as a bunch of others. So hope you all have a great day and rock on.